Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say, keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Cancer, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and guides, what are this person's current feelings for Cancer? Whoever Cancer is connecting to and dealing with and love. How does this person currently feel about Cancer? Cancer's person's current feelings for Cancer. Okay. Think we're good? Yeah. All right. How does this person currently feel about cancer? Here we go. Okay, Eight of Swords to the Strength card in reverse and the Ace of Cups. Okay. So this is someone who definitely wants a new beginning in love with you with the Ace of Cups cancer. But they do feel powerless with the strength card in reverse. They feel trapped within their own mind. They feel limited, they feel restricted. They feel they feel like they can't manifest the new the new beginning in love that they want to manifest with you or that they desire with you. Mm. Yeah, let's keep going. I'll come back to that. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for cancer, Spirit. Three of Wands to the Ace, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords in reverse. So this person is very much like focusing on themselves, on their work, career, their finances, their projects. It looks like they're just trying to keep themselves busy and keep themselves distracted because they feel like they they can't they can't build a future with you. Because the three of wands is kind of like the card of looking at the future. They feel like a future is not is not possible with you for whatever reason. They feel like there's too many challenges and they just don't feel like the opportunity is realistic or possible. So they're trying not to stress about it. They're trying not to think about it with the two of swords in reverse. They're trying to just kind of focus on themselves. Tell me more. All right, now we're looking more ahead into the future. Tell me more about this, this person's feelings for cancer. Moving forward. Ace of Swords, rolled in reverse, judgment, oh boy. What is this? This person switches from one energy from one energy to another energy very drastically. I feel like there's a drastic switch in their energy here. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Oh. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Cups to the Devil and the Nine of Cups in reverse. To the Five of Swords here.
So this, this is someone who is going to want to have a conversation with you with the Ace of Swords because they feel unfinished business with you. They can't get you out of their head. And with the Judgment card, they do want to have a second chance here. But look at this negative energy here. We have the Five of Swords and the Devil. So I don't know what this person is doing. That's not great energy. Let's clarify. Let's see if we can figure this out. Tell me about that Eight of Swords spirit. Why is the Eight of Swords in this person's feelings for cancer? Why the Eight of Swords? This person is, is like they have irrational fears. This person has irrational fears. Kind of paranoid, basically. A little paranoid. Why the Eight of Swords? Two of Cups to the Hierophant and the Page of Swords. I don't know, for some of you um, cancers, they might feel like you're already with someone else. Uh, actually, let me clarify that. Tell me about the Page of Swords, Spirit. Give me a second. Why the Page of Swords? They might feel like you're with someone else or you have someone else already. But also this person feels like you two don't have the same mindset with the Five of Wands and the Four of Wands. You two don't have the same mindset. You two are not on the same page with each other. In what way? What's the Five of Wands about, Spirit? There's some sort of conflict surrounding this relationship? Some sort of disagreement here? No, not yet, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands in reverse. I almost feel like both of you want this. It just feels like someone here is um, has commitment issues, has commitment fears. And that's where the, the conflict comes from. Because um, someone has a fear of commitment and it's um, limiting the relationship. I think they're looking at you like they know they know you want commitment they they know you want something serious and they they're conflicted about that mm -hmm. Tell me about the give me a second Tell me about the three of wands spirit three of wands in reverse. Why the Three of Wands in reverse in this person's feelings? Justice to the King of Cups and the Magician in reverse. This person feels like they can't give you the relationship that you're looking for. Um, they feel like the relationship wouldn't be fair or wouldn't be um, equal. And, and they feel like it, it, it's because of them. It would be their fault. They feel like they can't give you the relationship that you're looking for. With the magician in reverse. This person might feel like there's other things they need to worry about or responsibilities with the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about that Eight of Pentacles spirit. Okay. They're stressed. I feel like they're stressed about material things in their life. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, 
Yeah. This person feels stressed because they feel like there's a lot going on in their life. They feel like there's a lot of responsibilities that they have and they feel kind of like overwhelmed and they feel like a relationship is not is not something they can do right now or a commitment is not something they can do right now. Okay. What is this um ace of swords then? I feel like this person is going to communicate with you, Cancer, with the Ace of Swords. Um, they're going to break their silence, is what I heard. What's the Ace of Swords, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Swords here in this person's feelings for Cancer? Oh, broken heart here, Three of Swords. Three of Swords with the three of pen with the three of cups and the death card in reverse. So for some of you, there is a third party situation that this person hasn't completely let go of, and that's part of the problem here. Um, with this person, they might be honest with you about that. With the Ace of Swords, they're not completely available to have a new beginning because they're still attached to someone else. Or this could also be that they, they're still feeling, um, they're still grieving uh, a separation with a past person. They're still grieving, they haven't fully let go of a, of a past person or the pain of a past failure. That's what they're going to tell you. Hmm. Anything else with the Ace of Swords? I mean, I thought there would be something else to that. Something more. Anything else this person is wanting to communicate here? Yeah, look at that. This is not good. Look, Page of Cups with the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, this is like the energy of someone who's going to tell you, like, you know, right now, this is all I can offer you. I can't offer you a commitment, but I can offer you, like, my friendship, and, like, we can go out together, and, you know, we can have a good time if you want to have a good time, but with the Emperor in reverse, it's like I can't really offer more than that. That's what, gonna, that's what they're going to tell you. What's the judgment card about, Spirit? Yeah, like, I feel like they're going to tell you, you know, I still have, I still really like you, or I, I do feel an emotional connection with you, and I, you know, I want to go out, I want to see where it goes, but I can't really offer much right now. I'm sorry. Hmm. What's the judgment about spirit? Why is this in this person's feelings for cancer? Judgment card has the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Oh my God, Ten of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No way, I don't like this. Mm -mm. I don't like this. It feels like manipulation, cancer. I feel like this person is going to try to string you along or breadcrumb you. Seven of Swords means this person is lying about something or manipulating in some way the situation to go in their favor. Hmm. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. Oh, I see why the devil was here. The devil with the nine of cups in reverse. I feel like this person is trying to get away with something here. With the five of swords also. They're trying to get away with something. So you have to be careful because I feel like they might try to like um, paint a pretty picture here. They're, they might try to give you a false sense of hope, you know.
It, so they're going to kind of like twist the truth a little bit or manipulate the truth. And just the way they're saying things, you know, the, the way they're wording things might be something that can possibly give you a false sense of hope. Because they might tell you something like, you know, I'm not really ready right now, but, you know, let's see, let's go out and let's, you know, get to know each other. Who knows? Maybe, you know, um, things can change. Like, I'm willing to, I'm willing to take a chance on it. If you're willing to take a chance, I don't know, something like that. It just feels like manipulation, whatever it is they're saying. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Is the seven of swords here and this person's feelings for cancer ten of pentacles yeah knight of swords in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse you see they're hiding something they're definitely hiding something they're not telling you 100 percent the truth of why they can't be with you and it's we have the ten of pentacles so this person might still might already have a commitment um somewhere else with someone else okay like they're already they already have some sort of obligation to, to something else and they can't they can't be um fully available for you hmm. but i feel like they're gonna try to breadcrumb you here you know or sweet talk you in some way what's the five of swords spirit tell me about the five of swords and this person's feelings for cancer. Eight of cups in reverse to the sun in reverse and the ten of swords. Yeah, I feel like they're not going to be successful. But also they're going to try, yeah, they're going to try to get away with something. It's like they're going to try to return back to you but they won't be honest about what's going on with them so i feel like they're gonna try to like win you over and it's gonna give them an ego boost if you accept their if you accept them it's gonna give them an ego boost what's the um Oh, this is the other person. You see, this. there's two queens here. Male or female doesn't have to be a woman, but we have Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. There's two queens here. This person is trying to be with you and be with someone else at the same time. That's what they're obligated to, what they feel obligated to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel like they're going to hide that. What's the um, devil to the Nine of Cups in reverse spirit? Why is the devil in the Nine of Cups in reverse here? And this person's feelings for cancer. Yeah, it's, it's that like they can't offer you anything, basically. Three of Pentacles in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles. Um, but they might disguise it, you know, and they might twist things and disguise things to make it seem like, you know, they're offering you something when they're, when in reality, they're not. Yeah, in reality, I feel like this person um, just wants to get their way, you know, wants to kind of achieve their objective and I feel like their objective is to kind of have a win-win situation for themselves what's this queen of pentacles and the queen of cups spirit why is this here yeah there it is queen of pentacles with the seven of cups 
Yeah, this is someone who has more than one option with the Seven of Cups. And with the King of Pentacles, I feel like um, they're attached. They're attached to some other option. I don't feel like this person is... Um, obviously, they're not, they're not really loyal to whoever else they're attached to. They're not loyal to that person. But there might be history there, you know? There might be history and like an attachment there. All right, that's what I got here. Let's move on to you, Cancer. This is a mess. Let's just keep it right there. I don't know how I'm gonna just... I don't know how I'm gonna read this again. I don't think I can read that. It's too all over the place. All right, let's look at you. How does Cancer currently feel about this person, Spirit? What are Cancer's current feelings? Then we'll take a look at the outcome after that. How does Cancer currently feel about whoever they're dealing with here in love? Let's see, one more shuffle. No, one more, okay. Last shuffle. Here we go. <clears throat> How does Cancer currently feel about this person? What are Cancer's current feelings? Thank you, Spirit. Your current feelings, Cancer, the Knight of Wands in reverse to the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Wow, you're guarded. I like your energy. This is nice energy. Nine of Pentacles to the King of Swords. You're very confident in your energy. You seem very clear also with the King of Swords. It looks like you're seeing things very clearly or understanding things very clearly about this person. Hmm. Doesn't look like you're being fooled here. Nine of Pentacles means that you're very independent, self-sufficient, you're very stable on your own. You don't need anyone. You're very successful and or prosperous, abundant. You're very clear on your values and on your self-worth. I don't feel that I do feel like you're watching this person actually with the King of Swords. You're watching this person. You're not taking any any action towards them. What are you watching them about? Let me see it. Let me take a look at that. What is this uh, King of Swords here, Spirit? Tell me about this King of Swords and Cancer's feelings for this person. Oh, you're attracted to them. Okay. King of Pentacles and the Lovers and Temperance in reverse. So you're attracted to them, but you know they're no good. Yeah, King of Pentacles to the Lovers, Temperance in Reverse. Um, I, I need to clarify that Temperance. I can see that you you definitely feel a very intense connection with this person. You're very attracted. There's a lot of magnetic attraction here, chemistry. But why is the temperance here in reverse spirit? You feel like there's something unstable about this person. What's the temperance in reverse in Cancer's feelings? We have 
the Eight of Pentacles to the Six of Wands and the Tower. Hmm. You might feel like you've discovered some sort of truth about this person with the Tower card. They're very egotistic with the Six of Wands. You might feel like this is someone who has a really big ego. And what's the Tower, actually? Let me just make sure what the Tower is. Tower, tell me about the Tower. Hangman in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse and the Fool. Yeah, I feel like your perception of this person um, is not the best because you feel like they're very self-centered. They're all about themselves. You know, they only have time for themselves. They don't have time for anybody else. Mm -hmm. So if you had a rose tinted um, view of this person, um, this tower means that it's, it has shattered. You no longer have a rose tinted view of them. You see them for who they are. You feel like they're very just self-centered and all about themselves. But you are very attracted to them. But you're not being a fool here with the King of Swords. You're you're very aware of what's going on with this person and it looks like you're establishing boundaries here. You're restricting access. It's like you're restricting this person this person's access to you. Hmm. Okay. I'll take this back. You can stay actually. Okay, I'll keep you there. All right. Tell me more spirit about um, Cancer's feelings for this person, whoever they're dealing with. I feel like there's a lot that you like about this person, though. You might like um, their their work ethic for some of you, because they're showing up as the King of Pentacles. So you uh, might ad might admire how responsible they are, or if they're a very hard worker, you admire that, or they if they have a lot of su of success, they're well off. They're financially well off and they they have good stability for some of you. I feel like you admire that. I feel like you admire something. I don't know. All right, tell me more about how Cancer feels about this person. King of Cups in reverse to the Two of Cups. Oh, there it is. What did I say? Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I told you you admire something with the Two of Cups. Yeah. You don't look at someone that way unless you, you know, you admire them in some way. Hmm. Yeah, you, you feel a really strong connection to this person. Now we have the Two of Cups and we have the Lovers together. So there's an intense emotional connection, intense attraction. Very soulmate energy. Feels like a soulmate. But you are showing up as the King of Cups in reverse. I mean, is that you or is that your person? Hold on. I don't feel like that's you. It almost feels like that's your person. Your person might be emotionally unavailable or emotionally closed off. And with the Three of Cups in reverse, there is a lack of you two coming together. So tell me about the King of Cups in reverse spirit. 
Why is the King of Cups in reverse here? It seems like it's mutual. Both of you have mutual um, feelings for each other. It's the King of Cups. Okay, we have Seven of Cups in reverse to the Two of Wands and the Death card. Okay, so um, you might feel like this person is just not an option that's available. So I feel like you are kind of closing yourself. You've closed yourself off emotionally to this person, even though you do have a lot of feelings because you don't feel like they're an option here. You don't feel like they're available here. For anything um, serious with you. Tell me more about Cancer's feelings for this person. How does Cancer feel about this person moving forward? This is going to be more of a future energy. Moving forward, Cancer's feelings. Uh-oh, three of swords. Yeah, be careful because you might end up with a broken heart here. We have Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is going to be feeling like a missed opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And you are going to feel disappointed with the Three of Swords. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here, which I don't know what that is. Well, let's clarify that. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, Spirit? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? In Cancer's feelings. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Pentacles. Oh, this is like there's something better out there for you. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, I see. The, it, this is like intervention, basically. This is divine intervention getting in the way of you and this person because there's something a whole lot better out there for you and you're going to miss out on that opportunity if you continue to engage with this person or be connected to this person in any way. Um, you're going to miss out on an opportunity that that's a hundred times better than, than the person you're dealing with here. It's not going to be apparent to you because we do have the three of swords, so you're not going to realize this, you know, because like you have a lot of feelings for this person. Look at that, the two of cups. So like you had high hopes. I mean, it does look like you're wearing a poker face here. So I feel like you you did a good job at wearing a poker face, you know, not really displaying your emotions. But deep down inside, I feel like you, you did have a lot of deep emotions for this person and desire with the lover's card. And I feel like, you know, you were really hoping to get somewhere here with, with this person. So... You know, you might have emotionally closed off, but you're still going to feel hurt. You're still going to feel the disappointment pretty strongly here with the Three of Swords. I just don't know how you went from here to here, though, because I feel like you were a lot more stable in this energy over there. So I'm guessing this person took some sort of action towards you. Yeah, because we did see that. I did see they I see that I did see that they were gonna communicate with you. I'm gonna take a look at their actions um after this just to see that again and make sure, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna come towards you with some sort of you know sweet message. I would say be careful because with the Three of Swords, I feel like you might 
end up getting disappointed again with this person. So it looks like, you know, the advice is to not feed into it. If, especially if they come with come to you very sweet, you know, being very sweet and loving. Because we already saw this person doesn't really have anything to offer you. It's like they're not available, though. I feel like this person is in some other commitment or relationship. So the, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is telling me that you have something a whole lot better and that you might see this as a missed opportunity, but in reality, it's, it's um, a blessing. It's a blessing that you miss out on this relationship because there's something better. I want to take a look at that Three of Swords, actually. Tell me about the Three of Swords, Spirit. Why the Three of Swords in Cancer's feelings for this person? Oh, Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're going to get the truth here with the Ace of Swords. You're going to get the truth about this person. And with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's going to be very obvious that there is no potential for a happily ever after with this person. You know. What, uh, what's, what's that truth about spirit? What's the Ace of Swords? This person had the Ace of Swords, didn't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that in their cards. I don't know where there's too many cards here, but pretty sure I saw they had the Ace of Swords. So this person might come towards you with some sort of communication that's going to disappoint you. For some reason, I feel like it's going to disappoint you again because I feel, I feel like you already got disappointed. But I feel like this person is going to say something to you where it's going to be like very obvious to you because you're very intelligent with the king of swords you're an intelligent person so it's going to be very obvious to you that there's no potential here so i feel like you're going to have like another disappointment here but i feel like the universe the spirit is saying that the universe is blessing you by by preventing you from having anything with this person because there's something a hundred times better. What was I going to do here? Okay, yeah. I was, I was going to look at the Ace of Swords. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Oh, no, actually, that's it. I'm, the video's going to cut off cancer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. The video's going to cut off. <laughs> Bye.